It was supposed to be a miraculous moment. I was in excruciating pain. The miracle of birth went terribly wrong. I felt this big, huge bulge go from my right side to my left side and plop. We knew that there was a risk of rupture. Uterine rupture meant no oxygen for the baby until doctors could get him out and into the air. They got him stable and then called Bandy. Traumatic lack of oxygen or anoxia happens in about four of 1,000 births. And he was here within two hours on the cooling cap. Well, he had a, uh, a very severe insult, a very long time uh, resuscitation, and uh, he was just very high risk. So we, you know, I was, we did what we could do was, you know, we applied the cooling very quickly. After the three days of him being on the cooling cap, they took him off. He actually got to finally see his head. Um, his head had been covered for three days. It's great to see a kiddo that's so happy to be here. He is always, always happy, always. Today, his parents say Maddox Baker is a miracle. Now six months old, he is showing virtually no signs of the traumatic brain injury he could have suffered. Um, if you want to hold him... Maddox got the standard of care, studied here at Vanderbilt for more than a decade, cooling through a cool cap or cooling blanket, reduces serious injury by about one-third. So, so far, everything looks great and is not indicating any kind of hearing problem. When one cell is dead, and when it explodes, the cell next to it wasn't killed by that initial low oxygen, but it's going to get killed by the shrapnel, if you <laughs> will, from the first cell. So we're trying to protect, build a little barrier, slow things down so that the injury is limited to as small an area as possible. You see people drowned in very, very cold water, and then they're brought back to life and no problems. So you know something about the cold works. Maddox was one of the last to receive cooling through the traditional cap at Vanderbilt. Today, a mat cools babies so doctors can use new monitoring devices as Vanderbilt prepares to look at the next step in protecting babies' brains. There's lots of ways to approach this now that we understand what's happening in the brain as far as the biochemistry. For the Bakers, faith and science mix closely here at the neonatal intensive care unit. Here, Dr. Walsh, treated their firstborn child, Mia, six years ago. Mia lived only four days with an inoperable tumor. <laughs> but now the family has returned with a different story to share, one of hope. Look at me. Let me get Finn and start talking to me. He's gonna be able to walk, he's gonna be able to run, he's gonna be able to learn. I'm thrilled beyond words at the, the little boy we've got. He's truly a happy, healthy, sweet baby. For ViewCast, I'm Carol Bartu.